Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Dredge. For you, it's been three days, for me, it's been like three hours. So more like six. Let's get back into it, shall we? Time to play around with some explosives. Oh yeah! And also, you know, get some moolah. Where should we use it, though? Uh... Alright, I know my first target. Oh, right quick. Here we go. This bugger was creating that whole fucking beam of light. A pile of loose free. Yada yada yada. Shortcut. That's leaving the wrong word here. Alright, set the charge and light the fuse. The recon crumbles away. You know, when I first was, like, going over to light the fuse for that first one, I really thought I'd have to, you know, fucking book it before it would go off. But apparently, no, it's fine. I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't, that the explosives wouldn't really extend much, very far from the breach. Kinda. What the heck is this? Rusted me- Rusted- Ah, yes, that's a thing. A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side. It emits a low, rhythmic chime as it rocks with the waves. Is that the, is that the same color as the... Aberrant? I'm not quite certain. Remember it was kind of similar. Anyways. Let me just stock here. The store stuff because of my magical storage that just kind of around. Yeesh, I'm running out of space in this magical storage. Well, I'll offload a lot of this once I get the opportunity. But yeah, while I'm here, ah, what what is with these camera angles? While I'm here, I might as well nip on over to the place to go and grab some of those eels, you know? Hi! Wrong eel. Yeah. So yeah. While I'm here, I might as well nip on over to the place here during the night to grab some eels. Uh, not that kind of eel. Oh, he's not really an eel, is he? Serpent. You know. Uh, no. I think I have to wait a little longer. Ooh, what's this? Oh, you've got to keep me kidding me. God! Really was the... While I'm here, I might as well nip on over through here to grab some eels so I can... Hi. You are not an eel. You are a serpent. Fuck off. Now where... Um... No. Ooh, aberrant. I think. Oh, you've gotta be... Will you fuck off? Here we go. Eel. I think. Yeah. Nothing but the eels would be this annoying. Makes sense, considering they're... Bloody slippery. I mean, slippery like an eel and all that. I don't know what that is. 
Now, uh, where are they gonna go? Oh, right. We're gonna head back over to Marrow to sell off some of this loot. And also upgrade my ship. I mean, I can do that with the trader, but might as well do that over in Marrow. Since I'm on the way. God, it's so hard to judge distance in this game. Hi. I don't know what to deal with this with those things. Hi! Bye! What? That didn't hit me! What the fuck are you talking? That went right by me! Fuck off! No, fuck you. Ah, that was cheap. I saw that go right next to my ship. That did not hit me. You cannot tell me that hit me. Oh, hi. Ha ha. Got caught on a rock. Eat shit. What? Bullshit! That was right on top of it. You cannot tell me that was not a success. Yes. Fuck off. God, I'm just getting cheaped out oh, right, left, and center. Ugh. Time to sell off all of this stuff, and if this isn't enough to make enough money for at least get uh, the upgrade, I'm going to be very upset. Come on, this is a bag full of doubloons, plus some other random crap like that uh, individual doubloon and all that stuff. If this doesn't sell for a shit ton, there is no justice. There is no justice. What the fuck is this? That's less than a single fucking... That's like a, a slightly... Well, no. Slightly more than a single fucking... Sh uh, swordfish or some shit. What are you talking about? This has to be worth a lot. Apparently not. Look. It's not even worth 10 doubloons. It's overflowing with gold doubloons. But it's not even worth 10 of this. Which is already fucking shit all. Real gold. But it's only worth 15 bucks. What the fuck? fuck is this? I mean, it's worth... It's worth less than this. This is... This can be sold for like, what was it, 250 I bought it for like 500 something like that. A, a solid sheet of rust-free metal. Worth more than a whole bag overflowing with gold to boots. What the fuck is this bullshit? Sapphire earrings. 40 bucks. I mean, god damn. I mean, it's not- it's only worth slightly more than the fucking signet ring. Oh my god, this is retarded. Why are these treasures so shit? 
genuinely it's just not i don't even think it's worth going for them it's better to just go for fish because they're worth so much more it's outrageous jesus fucking christ i find a whole fucking treasure behind a waterfall and i bear and it's like less than a day's worth of fishing that's how much it's worth Jesus Christ. No. What's even the point of these treasures at all if they're worth so little? They're just not ever worth going for because they're so worthless. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you know what? No. No, fuck this. I'm keeping the bag of doubloons. It's just not worth fuck all to you. It's literally worth- it's just straight up worth more for like the sentimental value and that's it. Also, I can't believe I forgot to sell those fish earlier. I'm just gonna fucking keep the treasure items now. I... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, fuck that. No. Fuck this. I'm just gonna keep the treasure items now. They're worth so goddamn little, I might as well just keep them as amusing trinkets. God damn, really fucking stupid. Anyways, can't believe I forgot to sell these. Oh no, I can't believe that. I just wish I had more space in my cargo. Oh well. And it's just- and frankly it's just not worth the trouble of coming all the way back here to... You know, get the uh... to sell them. I mean, aside from that trader, everything- uh, it, Oh hi! Uh... Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh wow, that worked. Huh, okay then. Damn it, I don't have space. Damn. Whatever. I'm just gonna fucking relocate over to... Fucking Gale Cliffs. Uh, I think you're going the wrong way. You guys stink. Before I do that, I should drop off this item. Huh? Okay, not having any of that. I don't know what the fuck that infection stuff is, but I bet it's gonna... S but infections tend to spread, so I'm not gonna take a risk. Hi. Um... Oh, wait, I probably have to have it in my hole, not in my storage locker. You know what? Uh, 
So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? I don't remember. What a strange thing to say. Yes. <sighs> Excellent. <sighs> this should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. Selects one of the, the silver ribbons trailing from the Crimson Mound book, but opening it to some unseen page. You're an unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. Instantly return to Blackstone Isle. Huh. Alright, that could be useful. Be nice. Now that, yeah, that'll make it a lot easier to return when I have more relics. Wait. Uh, and if I go really far out, it could be useful to return to civilization. It would be quicker. The reef at Stellar Vasin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map when you, where you can begin your search. Hmm. Anything else? What's your the book? What do they do for me? Yeah. Use of these words will induce a trance-like state. While in this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. As always, I caution against overusing this. Selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. Okay, so time does pass, then. So it's just fast travel, not actual teleportation. Damn. What are you doing with these relics? Why, collecting them, of course. An investment for times to come. Why can't you search for these relics yourself? Yosha no longer wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, you will be my surrogate. It's a bit of an odd way to phrase that, but alright. Salubasin. Oh, right smack dab in the center. Should be easy then. <laughs> Alright, let's continue our voyage. The camera can cooperate. Over there, I'm not certain. Hang on a second. Hi. Will you bugger off? Approach a hooded figure. While swathed in dark blue robes, their face is barely visible. Mishemin, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It is a blue mackerel. Okay, shouldn't be too hard. Not much of a hunger. Well, I met a strange man in hood and robes on an island between the Marrows and the Gale Cliffs. He asked me to catch a fish depicted on an old paper scroll. Okay then. And when you ask me to, f to help with fulfilling a hunger. Well, I was expecting a lot worse, let's just say. Anything closer? Yeah, there it is, right over there. Wow. Not even that difficult. I guess that's why you're here then. If it's so close. On this island, so close to the mackerel spot. It'd be weird if you were so desperate for blue mackerels and you spent your time somewhere far away from them. Although I guess that would be, would explain why you're so desperate for them, but never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There you go. Backwards. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. Oh, still empty. Tiger mackerel. I have no idea where, t where tiger mackerels are. But alright, I'll find one for you if I can. anything in this gloom. I don't need to get back and leap. Why is my light off? Yeah, whatever. I'm nearly there. Ah. Wait. Hang on. What's my, uh, rotting shit? Okay, first of all... Oh, thanks to a retired whaler at Ingpel. I'm now carrying a small stock of hack explosives. Very carefully. Oh, sweet. And you're selling to me, uh, selling them to me at cost. Nice. Well, either that or you're getting a very good deal from him. But either way, neat. I probably should buy some just in case I run into something that I need it for. Yeah. At the very least, I should keep some in the storage. Oh. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, while I'm here. There we go. Oi! I got your fish. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. 150. Literally as much as I'd get for the entire bag of doubloons. What the fuck is this economy? Ah! I hate it here. Okay, let's put out these fish, these crab pots. And... Put them out over near where I can sell them. Very nice and deep, I guess, if that matters. Oh yeah, it's nice and deep area to buy it here. Wait, no. There you go out to a hundred. That seems like a good number. Goes that deep. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Let's. Oh. Oh. Nice, nice. Yes, yes. Come on. Hundred, yes. Maybe a bit too close. That's yeah, fine. And there we go. But the pots that delivered, d delivered, deployed, <laughs> hundred feet. So we. Now, I guess I just start fishing. Might as well start it here. Thank you. 
falling. Oh, with the nets, okay. I not really, I think. Wait, what, is, what do you mean trawling? I don't know, whatever. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Look at that. Fuck. Fuck. Wreckfish. Typically inhabiting caves and shipwrecks, these fish can grow big enough to eat small sharks. Ooh. There we go! Wow. Six foot four. There's a fucking ton. What's that? Ah, I can't quite get a good look at it. Stonefish. Oh yeah, I think I've seen those before. I must have, at least. was like half the price of a goddamn bag of doubloons. And no, I will never let that go. I will always hold that over this game's head because that's fucking stupid. Alright, just a bit more cash then. Huh. Oh, this is new. To me, at least. Oh, tiger mackerel. Huh. Well, this isn't exactly the best time for making a big old voyage over to that island, but hey. There's no second part of that sentence. Just, but hey. Slightly more substantial than other mackerel species, but harder to catch. Now, uh, it was there, I think? Yeah, it's gotta be. The other one is way too far out. Too far out, man. What's this? Uh, Ah, fuck. Which would actually... Ah, whatever. I'll just fish here and see what it is that way. Yeah, it's something I've already d uncovered, but... Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go to bed. Hopefully he doesn't mind these slightly stale. And if he does, well, sucks to be him. What? Why would you do that? Okay. It was completely uh, against mm. all sense. But sure, why not? Eh, it's light enough. Well, maybe not. But it will be by the time I get close. Scarlet prawn! Yeah! Found the depths of most oceans. Swarms of them can consume crabs and other small fish. Obviously. Everyone knows that about, about prawns. Uh, right. Right. Yuck. And... Same. Alright. So yeah, depth does, it does seem to matter, just... in extremes. Relative extremes, anyways. Sure, hope this is the right place. Hard to tell from this angle.
Okay, yeah, that's definitely the right place. There you go. Yada yada yada. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out a tide. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost. Again. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. Okay. That's a thing, apparently. Well. Okay, then. Yeah, okay. There we go. Like a glove. Any more little crabs in the time it took? Probably not. Barely any time. Yeah. I wonder, the ones that give like multiple a day, do they give them multiple, uh, during multiple times of the day or do they just get two at once? Or something. I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. Are these worth less than the regular crabs? They're certainly not worth more, or, or if they are, not by much. Either that or the regular crabs are worth almost nothing, but I don't think they are. Not worth much, admittedly, but... Alright, here we go. Five new cargo spaces and one additional impact. Alright, now what does it look like? Now. Oh. Okay, so it's still a terrible shape then. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Metal scraps, bolt of cloth, lumber. We'll add these. Because fuck you, that's why. Alright. Da 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 da. And. What did I have that was rotting in here? I have no idea what was rotting in here. This, well, whatever. Guess I must have left something in there. This one's going. This is the one that's going to retire. Looks like two of that metal. Yeah, seems like only the. Uh, New whole ones actually require the special metal. Naturally, it's one, two, and three. Obviously. Fifth. Oh, yes. This will be great. These will be great. Fifteen new hole, plus the four from that, almost twenty. Oh, yeah. Just need one more plank for that, and more cash, of course. Always more cash. <sighs> and hang on. Three rod spaces. That's an interesting way of doing it. I was hoping I'd have a space for like a net, but hmm. I don't think there's a way I can fangle both of these and the net into this space. Now if I manage to get this... Coastal, shallow, and oceanic. 
placing both of these. And I could put that here. Huh. That's a long way off, though. Oceanic perch. Also known as the rose fish, this brightly colored little fish has sharp thorny fins. Also absolutely tiny. If it's worth a reasonable amount of cash, that's very nice. But of course it won't be. I couldn't possibly be that lucky. Gnashing perch. Ooh. Eyeless and mindless. Driven only by the desire to consume. A pur purpose satiated many times over. Lovely. At least there's a decent amount here. Quite a few, in fact. Nice. Six. Okay, I think I saw... I think there were some planks over this way. You can fuck right off. Yeah, here we go. And what's that? Something. And might as well do some more dredging. Plank earned is a uh, is a plank saved and all that. Who is this? I'm not entirely certain what this, uh, whole weird green stuff is. I think it indicates that I'm- that there will be a aberrant there. There's also stuff that it seems to imply that the aberrant stuff is just a chance, basically. 10% increased sell prices and reduced buy prices. Very nice. Yeah. More a, a guide on psycholo psychology than a simple fi than simple financial transactions. It depends. It delves into the fundamentals of the human psyche and outlines some truly inspired tactics for bargaining. Get the sense the author isn't giving all their secrets away. Secret, uh, giving away all their secrets, however. Smart. Hmm? What's this? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. What the fuck is that in the distance? Oh, that's a tree. I thought that was like a giant figure in the distance. Never mind. But yeah, place your hand on the stone. This is a plan with neither flaw nor any possibility of error. Cold stone does not respond to your touch. Yeah, see? Perfectly safe. Where'd my lights go? <laughs> that would have been awkward. I love the sound of rain against the roof of my cabin. Is there anything better? Yeah, the sound of money in my pocket. Wow, these are worth almost nothing. Okay then. I mean, get rid of this and this, and yeah, that's almost all of the money gone. Okay then. 
Yes, I suspected correctly. Alright, now how much was this? Two, 300, damn it. Just barely not enough, as per the usual. It's so fucking hard to find these fishing spots at night. Oh whatever, I'll just sleep. What was that? Okay, let me just grab this and then go. Plus four cargo spaces. Okay, I guess that was just something. Is this the... is this another mackerel? That'd be funny. Sturgeon. Like a sturgeon! But for the very first time! Like a sturgeon! I don't actually know most of that song. A primitive looking fish, wow rude, with hard spiky plates lined up along its back. Like, who are you to judge? No, are you kidding me? There was an opportunity to get a, a fucking trophy and then it just never let me even try. That's fucking bullshit. Come on, that's like obvious bullshit as well. Like, haha, -ha, fuck you, you don't even get a chance. We're just gonna dangle it in front of you. Just to purely for the sake of annoying you. What the fuck, game? That's not cool. I'm not even joking, that's just really fucking fucked up. Should I, I'm not even sure I should waste my time on going for these at all. They're just gonna clog up my storage or be sold for a pittance. Another thing that I'm not certain I should spend my time going for. Oh well. It's cash. It's quick. Yeah, like half an hour. It's easy too. Nice. Put it extra cash. 
rather it be that rather than that where it's being wasted on mm. tiny little buggers. All right, now that cash. 48, 26. And all that. Again, I'm not sure what I had there. Oh well. Hope there wasn't anything important. Okay, I can... Mm, nearly... These. Oh yeah, now they're a bit cheaper. going to have really large things that I can't all pick up. Okay, maybe not. Okay. So far, all they've been giving me are these piddly little ones that are worth barely anything. I mean, it's, it's just about worth the time and money I spend. It's not exceptional by any measure. Ah, oh, I don't have enough cash because it's a repair cost, damn it. Now then. There we go, jet drive engine. How much does that actually cost, is the question. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're feeling careful out there. I hope you're being careful out there. Seeing your boat sail over puts a smile on my face every time. Ah, oh, thanks. Then you put a smile on my face, but that certainly doesn't. Wow. That's, uh, real fucking expensive. If I replace all of these with it, that'd be 6 times 9.5. Obviously, that'd be fucking... That uh, would be 57. No, that doesn't seem right. 6... Twenty nine, that's fifty four, that's Hmm, doesn't seem right. I mean, that's
Oh wait, right, of course. Boat ha the boat has a base speed. I forget what it is, though. That's what was screwing up my calculations. Okay, that's... Uh, 31.6, that's... Uh, 36.3... 46.3, okay, so... It's a 13.4, I guess? Kind of a weird number, but all right. What? Ten point four. Okay, so no. that'd be sixty seven point four then. That's a lot of money to get uh, less than eight not uh, kilonauts or whatever those are. Huh. Hmm, maybe this wasn't the best investment. I mean... I could have fit two of these and that'd be... 52, which would be... less. I could have fit one of these, and that, uh, and that would uh, plus one of these, and that would be. Still less. Well, maybe about the same. I don't know what this would be. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I'm fairly whelmed by these. I, I get the feeling that the uh, engine upgrades are more uh, are are not the, are not the real force behind uh, the uh, up, behind upgrading your speed. They're more of a you know, incremental boost, and the uh, real thing is getting engine space. Although, yeah, I mean this wouldn't be that. <laughs> This wouldn't be that useful without the jet drive, drive engine. Hmm. Oh, I can't even see where it would go. Oh, I guess I don't know where it would go because there's no hole and all that. Okay then. Yeah, 1410 to get all of those. Good year. Be here. Which? Yeah. No, wrong one. Yeah, I need two mill scraps, two lumber. I got the two lumber. I could probably go over and get the mill scraps. And then I just need cash, which I have, actually. Huh. Oh, wow, I can just go over and do that. Still need, uh... Quite a bit of more cash, though, to install that engine. Off here. 
magic storage and all that. What is that? That's like some sort of cave or something. Hang on. Guess I might as well put the explosives to good use. And if there's nothing, well I can always use the old quit without saving trick. There we go. What? I beg your pardon? Oh! Just casually some refined metal. Alright. Geez, I'm really... If, if you were trying to make me regret buying that metal earlier, you're succeeding. God, what is this? What? I barely fucking nudged that! And even that was only because this goddamn camera angle wouldn't let me do anything! God! Jesus Christ, where these goddamn camera angles will be the death of me! Like, why? There's never, ever any excuse to allow the fucking camera to spaz out like that. That is just grotesque game design. One of the basic things that you want to pre prevent when it comes to designing a camera, and they just didn't. Okay, I kind of get what the other things are supposed to be sort of representing. What is this mis mini game supposed to be representing? So why is it designed in the most unsatisfying way possible where 80% of the time that it'll end right before a dot goes into the thing? Animations in this are kind of neat, but they get re really quite annoying when you're trying to navigate through things quickly. Okay. There we go. I just need a bit more cash. That should be nice. Decent boost to my speed once again. Hi. What are you? You better not somehow hit me from all the way over there. I wouldn't put it past you with how fucking jinky your hitboxes are, but you better not. Not by half. Well, maybe by half.
Ooh. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. What is with these things just being designed to fuck you over when, like, dangle it in your... Dangle in the prospect of a trophy in your face and then fucking tear it away. That is downright hostile game design. No, I give it too much credit. That's just shit game design. Hostile implies there was some actual, you know, intelligence put into it. I mean... I mean, maybe I could have gotten it if I would not gone for those little blue things, but everything that I've seen, as far as the okay, that I grew up that thing, the thing, uh, screw up that minigame, the trophy thing disappears anyway, so I was fucked either way. And even if I wasn't, I was just, I was, uh, the other option is that I was fucked for playing the minigame. And both of those options are fucking stupid. <sighs> I was in such high spirits earlier earlier today when I recorded that previous video, and now it's just fucking me over left, right, and center for stupid reasons. I mean, ev like, just about everything that I've encountered so far today has been cancer. Absolute fucking cancer. Jesus Christ. But hey, at least my boat's faster now, and it's got... Slightly more space. Yay. <sighs> well. Oh wait, hang on a second. Oh, I could have just used this instead. I forgot about- I forgot I even had this. Shit. Well, at least I can put- now that I remember I have this, I can put this here. Keep my- Aberration bonus, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. I guess that's an increased chance of getting aberrations would be the logical conclusion. <sighs> well, this video is already getting rather long, and it certainly feels long. So, until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, Dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.